Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who does lead and rule well. Salutations to all you hopeful like Aki and pushing out this word in sincerity and in truth throughout the four corners of the earth. And sincere shalom to you, Akim and Akwaf, listening and learning, preparing yourselves here in these last days. And to your entire household of faith, fighting this good fight of faith, I want to say shalom. This is your brother, Dequar, from the D.C. camp. Come back at you with another lesson. I'm going to title this one, Pray Aright. All right. Which, which uh, simply just means, well, not simply, but um, it pretty much means it, well, it requires knowing the will of the Lord and what the Lord wants, man. You know, and you get that through studying his word, you know, which is the Bible. Now, I uh, I thought about this topic because I had brought um, in my last lesson, Philippians 4 and 6. It says, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto the most high. And um, another word for request, obviously, is, is, is your prayer. You know? Uh, when it says be careful for nothing, it says be, uh, do not worry about anything, but in everything through, this is the CSB version, but in everything through prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request through uh, the most high, you know? So that's what made me think of it. But uh, the obviously the scripture that I want to start with is James 4 verse 3. It says, ye ask and receive not because ye ask a miss that ye may consume it upon your lust. You see that? So when I'm saying pray or write, the opposite of that is uh, praying amiss, right? So let's look up that word. He said ye ask amiss. Strong's G 2560. Kakos. Kakos. So amiss, it, it says, uh, improperly or wrongly you know miserable to be ill to speak ill of revile one but we're gonna go with a miss oh says diseased evil grievously miserable which is um what's that james four and three yeah let me uh pull it up in the thayers the uh blb scripture index of thayers right so this one is uh the last one yep Morally, improperly, or wrongly. You see? So, if you, you can pray improperly and wrongly when you're what? When, you're, uh, when you uh, ask that upon your lust. Your own pleasures, your own uh, desires, man. You see? Now, when you go to, um, what was that? I think it was Luke. This is Luke 11 verse 1. It says, And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. So they was asking to teach them to pray, man, so that their prayers is answered, man. You know? It says, and, and, and he said unto them, when ye pray, say, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted unto us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. People don't forget about that, man. Lead us not into temp lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You got to be praying for these things, you know. And that uh, alone 
is you you want to be asking to keep you away from your own lust. You better make sure it's a, it's in, it should be aligned with the heavenly Father's will, man. You know everything else. That's why I said day by day, our daily bread, man. Because this is our main mission. You know. To do the will of the Heavenly Father, like Yahweh Shah was doing. You know? That's all, that's what I wanted right there. Um, I wanted to go back to uh let me go back. I feel like I was missing something up in James. Where is it? Nope. Now the scriptures, the scriptures de definitely says, "Ask, right, and then you shall receive." Come on. This is um Matthew twenty one and verse uh, twenty one. It says, "Yahweh shall I answer and said unto them, Verily I say unto you." If you have faith and doubt not, you shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if you shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. You see that? But guess what? It has to be aligned with the Heavenly Father's will. So you always got to. Uh, 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 say that, man. You know? You can be praying, but hey, if, what if the Lord doesn't um, align with your prayer? What if his will doesn't align with your prayer, man? And I always go back to Yahweh Shah praying to the Lord when he was about to uh, be put on the cross, man. In the garden. He said what? Take this cup from me. But not my will, but your will, Lord. So just because you can pray hard and hard, you can pray hard and hard, you know, and believe it that the Lord, He loves you, He'll do it for you. But if He if it doesn't align with His will, it, it's not gonna happen, man. You know? And you have to be prepared to if if it's not my will, I mean if it's not your will, Lord, hey, you know, give me the strength to bear it. Right? So when you pray, though this is 1 Corinthians 14 and 15, you know, it says, what is it then? I will pray with the spirit and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the spirit and I will sing with understanding also. So just always add the understanding part into it, man. You know? So like I said, you could be wrong in prayer. You asking to miss when you asking for blessings for the use of and encouragement of your own lust, man. You know? Let me see. I kind of said the same thing. It's, or it's, that verse kind of said the same thing. Um. <laughs> All right, this is uh, 1 John 5, verse 13. It says, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. You see? He heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have petitions that we desired of him. So it said what though? Key thing. If we ask anything according to his will, he hear of us, man. So you got to keep that in mind, man. Can't forget that. All right. Why is it? Hold up one second. Am I tricking? It's 
to lock it. Bear with me. All right. I just lost my thing. Okay. There we go. All right. Salakia. So, it says, uh, it, that's pretty much the same thing as John 14, man. You know? It's, it's all throughout the scriptures, man. Praying and asking according to the will of the Heavenly Father. Not yours. Right? This is John 14 and verse 13. It says, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So it's all about the glorifying of the Lord, man. So just remember, is, is that a line? Are you asking for spiritual things? You know? The, uh, is that a line with the, with the whole plan and will of the Lord? It says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. You know, that's the same assurances of the scripture that we just read, man. So that I, uh, according to his will is, is closely connected to Yahushua's name, man. In his name, I should say, you know. You can't <laughs> force Yahushua to answer your, your request, man. You 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 bring him a request in, in humble submission, you know. You wait for it. All right. You wait for his answer, man. You don't want to just, just just try to force things and try to do it on your own, man. You d d believe that the Lord is is, is going to answer you in, in in your own time, in His own time, right? Okay, that's when you, it's, it's important, man. So simply saying in, in, in Yahweh Shah's name, uh, uh, Amon, don't necessarily mean that you bring in your request with submission and, 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 and that it's a, in alignment with the will of the Heavenly Father, man. And, it, and it's not going to force the Lord, just because you said in, Yah in Yahweh Shah's name, it's not, that doesn't mean that he has to, to uh, uh uh he's gonna he has to answer it man he don't have to Yahweh Shai doesn't have to force or um how do I say it he doesn't have to align his will with your request man you have to align your request with his will if that makes sense man you know you got ultimately this whole thing is praying according to uh his will man you know and and when i'm saying when i say that it has to be in alignment with the lord's character you know you pray for things that the lord would desire man you know Um, you know, prayer is a way that we commune with the Heavenly Father, man, you know, and His Son. That's how we, we uh, get to know Him, man. But anyways, I'm not going to make this lesson too long. Um, let me see. All right, so lucky. Like bear with me. So just want to make sure I get everything I wanted in this lesson. Come on. All right. Um. This is uh Luke twelve, <laughs> and verse thirteen. It says, "And one of the company said unto him." Master, speak to my brother that he divide the inheritance with me. 
And he said unto him, man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto them, take heed and beware of covetousness for a man's life cons consisteth not in the abundance of things which he possesseth. Now, that man, that was a part of, he wanted to, to fulfill his lust, man. You know, but you got to keep in mind that <laughs> your life don't, it's not uh, just possessions, man. He doesn't have, the Lord don't have to uh, 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 pretty much serve your own carnal terms, man. You know? Now, when you ask for spiritual things and you wait for it, then, then that's when you're going to get it, man. You know? Uh, this is James. Where is it at? James 1 verse 6. Well, I'll start at 5. In fact, I'm going to start at four since I was saying that. This is uh, James 1 verse 4 says, But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask the Most High that giveth to all men liberally and abradeth not, and it shall be given. You know, if you lack wisdom, though, no. you know, that should be one of the first things you're asking for, man. Because if you have that, you won't make certain moves. You know? But let him ask in faith, Nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. All right, so when you ask in these things aligned with the Lord, that's what you ask in faith, you know, complete faith, not, without doubting, man. When it says uh, nothing wavering, without doubting. For let not that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord. You know, that's double-minded, man. That, 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 that's wavering in the spirit. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, you know? So ask for an increase of the Holy Spirit, man. <laughs> like getting a raise. You're able to save more, you know? With this, you're able to store more. You're able to grow. Now, wisdom and knowledge, man. You know? Um, and that's our prayer for, for, for brethren, man. This is Colossians 1 verse 9. It says, for this cause also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Yeah. So that's that's what we, we pray for, brothers, man. You know? Is another one. This is uh, Ephesians 3 verse 14. It says, For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, that HaMashiach may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Hamashiach with passive knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of the Most High. Now, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in the churches by Hamashiach, Jehovah Shai, throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. So Paul pretty much expressed a desire to see his friends gain spiritual, his brethren gain spiritual strength, man. And how did he encourage them to do that? Not by commanding them, but by, pay, by, by through prayer, man. So that's the strength of prayer when it's aligned with the will of the, of the Heavenly Father. And, and it starts with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know? Knowing w what his will is, man. You know, and, and being humble when you when you're doing it. All right, and waiting and being patient. All right. So Lord willing, that was edifying to the next one. I want to give our praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakadash. And to all your brothers, I want to say shalom.